Hello, this is Jeffrey Mangus with LimbLostLife.com. Um, I am the author of the new book, Limb Lost Life, the first few days, weeks, months, up to the first year as a new amputee. Thank you for joining me. And I wanted to um, do a quick video uh, on the stages of um, emotions that you're going to be feeling during the first few days. Um, and it's really important and um, it's almost a mystery on how to deal with these type of things. And so I want to kind of dive deep a little bit and um, I don't want to beat it to death, uh, you know, over the head, but, you know, being a new amputee, wherever you are, this is something you, you know, might definitely need to know. So um, one of the first stages is grief. And um, grief is something that we all experience, you know, throughout our lives, you know, with different aspects, different things especially uh, death. Uh, when we experience death in our families or around us, we mourn and we feel sad. Um, well, limb loss life is the exact same thing. Um, uh, limb loss is, is like a death. You know, something has happened to you that is now gone and you can't get back and you can't change it and you can't um, make things to go back the way they were. So the um, what you need to do uh, is to hit it head on and to let yourself mourn, let yourself be sad, let yourself grieve, um, let the sadness pour out. Um, just allow yourself this time and don't feel rushed and don't feel like you have to keep up with the Joneses and you have to be happy immediately. Um, this is not true. You uh, need to let yourself um, feel the pain, feel what you're dealing with, inside and internalize it and let it come out in any way that it that you feel um that is you know the best for you you know um just do your best to not let it come out in anger or uh, frustration but let let it come out and um just let it pour out and take this time for you one of the other um, main things you might experience is a feeling of called hopelessness. Hopelessness is, uh, it's a deep emotion and, um, and we all experience it in different ways and different aspects. Um, but you might feel hopeless about your, your family or your job or your, your spouse, um, you know, in worrying about how your spouse is going to accept the new you and the way you are now. Um, you might worry, worry and feel hopeless about your finances or your uh, medical bills. There's so many things that you could feel hopeless about that um, can happen, especially the first few days. Um, the key here is to reach out and talk to your friends and your family, especially your spouse um, or any uh, social worker that's in your hospital. If you are uh, if you don't have a significant other right now, if you need someone to talk to, reach out to a social worker or an occupational therapist. Reach out and open up. And this is the way to, to deal with hopelessness and overcome that feeling. Um, it's, uh, it's really important that you do that and don't let it fester um, because it can, hopelessness can be like a well. It can get deeper and deeper and deeper and suddenly you're so deep that you really can't see the top and you can't get out. Uh, not trying to be morbid, not trying to be negative, just letting it, just letting you know how it can be. So, but my book, Limb Lost Life, addresses all of these issues in depth. And it addresses, you know, it's written for you, the new amputee or a family member that's, um, uh, has a family member that's facing amputation or, uh, or, um, a family member that has just experienced limb loss with someone in your family. Um, this book is for you. It, um, this book is a, a tell-all, um, in-depth, real-world look into life um, as a new amputee. And I truly hope that you um, can get a copy of this book. Uh, and my sole belief is that this book can help you get through this time in your life this journey, this season that you're in. So I do hope and pray that you uh, can grab a copy. Um, you can uh, get that copy of the book on Amazon, and you can also um, order your copy at limblosslife.com. 
You can also email me anytime at limblosslife at gmail.com. Email me, email me with any questions, concerns, tell me your stories, tell me where you are. I would love to hear about that. So hope you're having a, a good day and I hope you're, you found this to be helpful. And uh, I'm hoping that you find the book and my website and any information and blogs and articles that I post helpful to you, insightful and inspirational to help you through this time in your life. Take care and Godspeed.